Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and I have here an Asus EPC-1000H netbook with a 1024 by 600 pixel resolution display, and I'm running Windows 8 Developer Preview. I have a previous video where I sort of uh, gave a quick overview of how this all works, and uh, overall, you know, it looks pretty good, but something interesting happens when you try to install Windows 8 on a device with this screen resolution. Uh, this Metro-style interface, this new start menu with the tiles and um, uh, so forth, it works as a start menu, and the um, search and, and other functions work pretty nicely, but you wind up going to a desktop view in order to run most applications. Uh, so for instance, if I click on Internet Explorer here, nothing happens. Click on Store, nothing. Socialite, nothing, nothing. And that's because the Metro style applications that we're looking at here, the, uh, the shortcuts to those applications, are not designed to work on a device with this screen resolution. Uh, some applications like Windows Explorer um, are used to opening in the desktop views. When you click on those, something does happen. But for the most part, you get a lot of eye candy and not a lot of action here. Um, and so what you need to do to actually run applications is go to the full desktop view and, um, and run them from here. But there's a way around this. I have uh, information on lilliputing.com that explains exactly how to change the registry options um, that'll enable this. But if you have a netbook with GMA 950 graphics, you can do a little registry hack. Uh, you search for a certain setting, make a change, and then when you go to screen resolution, even though the native resolution of this display is 1024 by 600, you can change it to 1024 by 768 or even 1152 by 864. So let's go ahead and do that right now. And say keep changes. I don't know how, you, how well you can see in this particular video, but it sort of squashes certain things. The pixels don't look quite as good as they could. Um, it's not something that I would really want to do all the time for uh, regular use on a computer, but the advantage is you sort of get extra screen real estate here. This window hasn't been resized. This is the same as what it looked like in uh, full screen before. And now when we go to the Metro applications, or the start menu, we can go ahead and load the version of Internet Explorer that's designed for use with touch or just sort of a keyboard and mouse using the Metro UI. And you see it has sort of this chromeless design, meaning um, basically the, um, the buttons disappear. You have a couple of buttons down here at the bottom, but you don't have all the toolbars and everything else that you normally get. And even the buttons at the bottom disappear when you're not using them. So um, in some ways, this actually, it seems like a shame that this isn't available out of the box for devices with 1024 by 600 pixel displays because in some ways it really works better on low resolution screens because you don't have all that extra stuff um, eating up pixels. Um, what am I trying to do? Let's go back to the start menu and look at a couple of other apps. There's a weather application which runs in full screen and again looks pretty good on, the, on this device. taking a moment to connect to the internet and, and gather the latest information. Um, a couple of reasons for that. This, this device doesn't have a very fast processor and it doesn't have a very uh, fast internet connection right now. Um, I actually have a high-speed internet connection at the house, but I think there's a couple of issues with the um, support for the wireless hardware in here. So that's the uh, weather application. Let's go back to the home screen and look at... You click on store, eventually there's going to be an app store here, but right now we actually are just going to see an error message saying that it's not yet available. Well, we should see an error message, I'm not sure why we don't. Let's try that again. Here we go, coming soon. And... What else do we have? There's a uh, RSS reader. Again, runs in full screen, um, designed for tablets and touchscreen devices like all-in-one computers, um, but would look really great on a netbook if it ran a little bit faster here.
So uh, there you go. There's a quick look at a couple of Metro apps running on a netbook with a 1024 by 600 pixel display and uh, by spoofing the screen resolution to pretend that it has a higher resolution screen. And this has a GMA 950 graphics. Again, you can find more details on how to do this with your netbook by visiting lilliputing.com. This is Brad Linder with Lilliputing.